What's going on everybody? It's your boy the almighty CR21 coming at you guys with another video. If you guys haven't checked out my Woman Wrestling Matters video, I recommend you guys please check it out. It did pretty well. And yeah, make sure to check that video out and check out my previous videos if you haven't already. We're trying to improve the content on this channel and we're going to put up another video today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my take on why SmackDown is awesome. SmackDown, in my opinion, has been the A show, like I said in my previous videos. I enjoy every single Friday night sitting at home watching Friday Night SmackDown. It's just something better than just watching Monday Night Raw on a Monday night to start off the week and just ranting on it, you know, getting mad at it. On SmackDown, it's an easy two-hour show to watch. But yeah, we're going to get into why SmackDown is awesome. If you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. When you look at Friday Night Smackdown, you just see the talent. You see people like Roman Reigns. Ever since Roman Reigns returned, Smackdown has felt more important. The views have gone up. The rating has been good. The reviews of the show has been good. Roman Reigns is just a legit draw. If you saw last week, all Roman Reigns videos were getting straight a millions ASAP. Roman Reigns theme song was getting over a million more than the actual match. That's how you could tell that Roman Reigns is an actual draw, and Fox made the right move of picking him to come to Friday Night SmackDown. So that was already a good move. Roman Reigns is definitely good. I see the mid car on SmackDown, and I automatically seem intrigued of what's going on. You see people like Big E. This is a serious Big E. He jokes around, but once that bell rings, Big E's all business. You look at someone like Sami Zayn. Back then, he was just this good wrestler, happy to be there type of guy. And now he actually got a character. He even got Logan Paul to be on Friday Night Smackdown. So you know that he's doing a hell of a job. Also, you got people like Kevin Owens, who was just in the main event picture, chasing Roman Reigns for two months for that Universal title. He failed to do it, but now he's back in the mid-card. And I feel like an addition of Kevin Owens in the mid-card is fantastic. You got people like Jey Uso, main event Jey Uso. You have people like Seth Rollins, Cesaro putting on amazing matches. Cesaro has just been in a rampage. He's got his push going. Even though I don't think I could trust the push, he's still getting somewhat of a push. Hopefully it does work out. You have the woman division wrapping off a story with Bailey and Sasha Banks. You have Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has been in the best woman stories there is. She's just amazing. She's put the best matches. She brought amazing matches out of Carmella, out of Bianca Belair, out of Bailey, just to name a few. The tag team division is pretty okay on Friday Night SmackDown. I see someone like the Street Profits or the Dirty Dogs. Say what a question, Maggle. The Dirty Dogs running it down in the tag team division. The addition of the Mysterious is also pretty cool. And you have a part-timer, quote-unquote, Edge, that showed up every single week to build up to his Mania match. And the addition of Edge on Friday Night SmackDown was another good thing that Fox ended up doing for the blue brand. Edge on SmackDown was amazing. His time in the WWE was also amazing. Hopefully, we get to see the Rated R Superstar back. I heard that he's not going to return to like the fans return or something. The fans are set to return in June. I hope that's the case. I'll be next month. I don't want to see Edge go for like another while. Hopefully, he'll be back for the time of Money in the Bank or SummerSlam. But yeah. SmackDown just has a stacked roster. They have a legit main event scene. They have Roman Reigns. They had Daniel Bryan. They have Edge. They have Jey Uso, Seth Rollins, Cesaro. That's things you could work with. If you look at Raw, they only have like three main eventers in Braun Strowman, Edge, Drew McIntyre, and if you want to count Randy Orton, but he's in the tag team division. The mid car has just been killing it over on SmackDown. Like I said, Big E and Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews is someone the mid Carter should take note of. He had no character, so Ricochet, Ali, y'all could be looking right now. Apollo Crews was just a happy to be there type of guy. And now look at him now. He did it with Nigerian people. But, not for real though. Apollo Crews with this Nigerian gimmick. The X is a little bit off, you know, it's kind of, you know, you just get cringe out of it. I'm not trying to disrespect, but the way he just does it is just, you know, it's forced. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. It's basically forced. That's not the way I, I believe he would just talk on a regular basis. I mean, we've seen him talk before, so that was already a, a huge L. 
At least with Kofi Kingston, they did it right off the bat. But it's been five years to do it with Apollo Crews. But yeah, that's not the point. Apollo Crews, what he's doing right now is good work. All of, all of a sudden, other than that, he's been doing good work. I like his heel tactics in the ring. I like the way he acts, his entrance song, his gear. And him and Big E has had a rivalry going for four months. And it's something I never imagined to see. I never imagined to see Apollo Crews have a singles match at WrestleMania if it's not on the pre-show or kickoff for the Cruiserweight title or something like that. But yeah, Apollo Crews actually changed up his character, became more legit. He finally got a character after being in the main roster for five to six years. And he ended up winning the Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious title on today's WWE. So Apollo Crews went from no character to being a US champion and to currently being the Intercontinental Champion. That is a huge upgrade for Apollo Crews. Also, for the tag team division, like I stated, I like the way the Street Profits and the Dirty Dogs are going. I think the addition of the Mysterios is fantastic. Otis and Chad Gable, the Alpha Academy, that has some potential. So the tag team division is definitely better than Raw. I mean, over on SmackDown, it's just fantastic. They always have good matches. I know a lot of people won't care for it, but they always put on the best matches out of the tag team divisions. And all the brands, that's right, SmackDown is just killing it. And the woman division, you have the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair running it down. I feel like Bianca Belair as champion has been pretty good so far. I want to make, I want to see them making more serious, you know, make Bianca Belair more serious, you know, like her NXT days. But you know, I'm still digging it. She's only been champion for like three weeks, so I'm not gonna hate on it right off the bat. She's facing Bailey. I feel like Bailey and Bianca on a pay per view can be a fantastic match. Hopefully, we get that Sasha Banks rematch, maybe like a Money in the Bank or something like that. It's definitely going to come. I don't know where Sasha Banks has been. She's been gone for like two months. I mean, not two months, two weeks. She's been gone ever since the WrestleMania, the SmackDown after WrestleMania. So hopefully the boss returns very soon. I could see Carmella getting a pay-per-view match with Bianca Belair. So I think that's fantastic. But let's talk the real reason why I think SmackDown is truly awesome. And it's definitely better than Raw, NXT, any WWE brand. It's just Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, the addition of Roman Reigns is his return. He has just been killing it. At SummerSlam, when he made his return, people were thinking if he's going to turn heel. Well, he did. He joined Paul Heyman. That was already a positive. Paul Heyman was a free agent. Comes with Roman Reigns. And it just has just been amazing. The story with Roman Reigns and Jey Uso was fantastic. The matches they had at Clash of Champions and a Hell in a Cell and the I Quit Hell in a Cell match were good storytelling. Maybe not the best matches, but definitely the best storytelling of that year. It was just fantastic. It got personal. Like, they're legit family members. You know, they're cousins. Like, it's not like kayfabe or nothing. They're legit family members. So, even the addition of having the family out there, too. And Jey Uso just... Giving up quitting for his brother at Hell in a Cell is just good storytelling. It's good stuff, pal. Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre killed it at Survivor Series. Had an amazing match. Another match of the year contender. Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns killed it at TLC. And at the Christmas edition of Friday Night Smackdown. And at the Royal Rumble. At Fastlane, Roman Reigns had an amazing match versus Daniel Bryan. At Elimination Chamber, Roman Reigns proved his dominance against Daniel Bryan. Then at WrestleMania, the head of the table did it again. He laid out Edge and Daniel Bryan, stack him, pin him, beat him. Roman Reigns ended up defeating both Daniel Bryan and Edge at the same time. He pinned both at the same time. That is just some savage things right there by the head of the table, Roman Reigns. I mean, come on now. Two legends, two Hall of Famers, and you just stack him up like that and pin him and win the match at the main event of WrestleMania? Amazing. Then, last week on Friday Night SmackDown, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan had a fantastic TV classic like I anticipated to be. It was very good. Roman Reigns ending the career of Daniel Bryan. And then we're going to get Cesaro and Roman Reigns, which is probably going to happen at WrestleMania Backlash. Roman Reigns... Has been a can't miss every single pay-per-view, every single match he has been on ever since his return. 
He just can't miss. You can't miss a Roman Reigns match. You can't miss a Roman Reigns match. If he's on SmackDown, you're going to watch. On a pay-per-view, you're going to watch. Roman Reigns delivers. He stands and delivers. Your head of the table delivers. Puts on the best matches possible. And moving on, I just think SmackDown is an overall good show. It's two hours. That's a positive. Sitting on a Friday night, you know, two hours. Hanging out with your friends. You know, just chilling around. And the time goes quick. And if you want to be specific, it's actually under two hours. Because SmackDown been ending like around 9.56, 9.57 Eastern Time. So it's just an easy show to get through. You know, it doesn't drag. Sometimes it leaves you wanting more. And that's what a show is supposed to be. It leaves you leading more. You want to see more on a Friday night than on a Monday night. You know, you're just chilling on a Friday night. You wouldn't want, uh, mind to see more wrestling. And that's one thing that I like about Friday Night Smackdown. It's just an easy show to watch. It's a good quality show. The commentary is amazing. Pat McAfee and Michael Cole are doing fantastic. I like that pairing. Pat McAfee is just amazing. I like the way he acts during title matches. Like He acts like it's the biggest deal. He's always standing up. He has a personality. He knows how to talk. He's funny. He has entertaining purposes on commentary. And that's what a commentator should be. I'm not digging that new guy on Monday Night Raw. He should be like in an MLB game or like a golf game or something like that. But he's just not meant for wrestling. Like I said, they need to change him ASAP. Samoa Joe on commentary was killing it. Not the new guy. Over on SmackDown, the commentary is amazing. You have Kayla Braxton. She usually has good interviews backstage. It's like almost everything is good about Friday Night SmackDown. Even the little things. Maybe some negatives... I see people are saying, I don't, there's really not a lot of negatives. There's really not a lot of negatives about it. Other than the tag team division, sometimes it could be a little negative because it makes no sense sometimes. Like, the Dirty Dogs already beat the Shrew Profits twice, and why are they still going after their tag team titles when it should be the Mysterious or the Alpha Academy? Now, that makes pretty much sense. You know, the tag team division, the tag team division is, is okay. You know, it's pretty good. But sometimes it just doesn't make sense over on SmackDown. Same with Monday Night Raw. So, I mean, you can't really argue that. But other than that, SmackDown is just a really good show. Amazing show to watch on a Friday night. And I can't wait for this throwback edition of Friday Night SmackDown coming up this Friday. Where Cesaro and Seth Rollins will battle it out. I'm expecting it to be even better than WrestleMania. Because I I believe it's probably going to be the main event. You know, there's really nothing announced for that show. So I'm assuming that's going to be the main event. So it's definitely going to be a good match. And, you know, it's like you get hyped for SmackDown. Like, you can't wait for SmackDown. It's not the same with Monday Night Raw. If you like Raw is a content creator, you're just watching it to do your video. I mean, that's the reasons I watch Raw. I'm doing a watch along. I'm doing a review, you know, or doing a quick short. That's, you know, that's the only reason I really watch Raw. And other content creators will tell you the same. But for SmackDown, even if you weren't a content creator, you would still watch it because how good the product is and has been. And hopefully it even keeps getting bigger. Hopefully it keeps even get better, bigger, better, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully the product improves even more. Roman Reigns as your universal champion is perfect. He's been champ for over 200 days. And like I said, that reign should continue at least to SummerSlam. He's just been killing it. Apollo Crews has been killing as the Intercontinental Champion. Bianca Belair has been killing as the women's champion. The Dirty Dogs has done a pretty good job as the tag team champions. So that is all positives about SmackDown. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think SmackDown is the A show? Do you guys think it's better than Raw? Do you guys believe that SmackDown is awesome? Let me know all that in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.